Hey guys, it's me, Geeky Simmer here, and today I thought I would record for you lovely geeks. So, I was like, let's record university because I've recorded a lot of um, ambitions, and so I thought, let's do, let's play The Sims 3 University Part 5, I think? Yeah, I think it's Part 5. Um, and so, last time, if we don't remember... We, uh, kind of had rough times with, or the part before, Raymond tried to kiss his crush, and it didn't go so well. And she's kind of stuck up. So, off screen, I kind of made a girl who I thought was really cute, and I put her in the university, and I think we'll either have Daryl or Raymond kind of flirt with her and see how it goes, you know. I put her in this dorm, I think, the fraternity dorm, I think I put her in, not for sure, but yeah, so I'm just going to hop right in. So, Daryl today, I think, is done with his classes, or at least he's in between classes right now. Oh, he has five hours till his class. So right now, he's kind of just eating, getting his, you know... Hygiene and all that up. Let's check on Daryl and Dominique quick. They're kind of needing stuff. I might take Dominique out of class because she's like on the edge. <laughs> and it's not going too well. <laughs> because she is sick, it looks like. She is stressed out. So, yeah, it's just not going so well. Um... So let's see, what do I want to do with The Sims today? Because it's kind of just been a laid back day for all three of them. I mean, the other two have classes and he has classes in four hours. So I mean, we might do something. I think I'll just have him improve his skills today. And the butler is kind of just doing the household chores for us. Thank you, Jesus, because I could not do those. <laughs> I've already had to do enough with just my free play sims that I am getting sick of laundry. So, uh, yeah, they're still in class for like another hour or so. So I guess we'll just focus on Raymond right now. I don't think Tiffany is here. I think she's in class right now, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So let's see. He's just going to work on his stuff. So I'm just going to kind of skip ahead, zoom through all this. And I kind of want to know where she is. I want to know if she signed up for um, online dating. Because if she is, then I guess we could have, um, like, you know. And besides, I have to have him check his online dating stuff because he, um, him and Daryl are both signed up because we didn't know how the whole relationship with, you know, Tiffany would go, just because it's Tiffany and she was kind of just stuck up in the beginning. <laughs> so, let's see, he is checking through the profiles, it should pop up, <laughs> I was right, <laughs> uh, let's see, I don't think she is, yeah, I don't think she is, sadly, but, yeah, Sadly, the girl I added is not in here, so I guess we could kind of go hunting around the campus. I mean, I know it's kind of creepy, but, yeah. <laughs> Who lives right here that we know? Oh, it's the serious students. That's kind of odd. But, okay. So, we're just going to have him kind of check his online dating, you know. Maybe do some laundry for us, because both... Your work is slipping, Daryl. Try to pay more attention. Daryl's worked too hard already. <laughs> so, Ashley, Mika, and Ruby, all three are interested in us. So, I guess we'll accept those friend requests. And... Yeah. It seems like they've... The boys are kind of on a hot streak, it feels like. <laughs> um, so yeah, we are going to have him do their laundry quick, the boys, and then we will have Dominique and Daryl come back to the dorm, you know, get their 
selves up because they are not in a good mood, it feels like. So, Dominique needs to have fun and go to bed. So, I guess I'll just have her play on her computer upstairs. So, play computer games. We'll have her play a racing game. And we will have her take a nap, maybe two, just so we can get her up. And then Daryl is kind of all over, so we'll have him come and shower, use the toilet, come downstairs here, and he is going to eat some leftover waffles. And, yeah, I think we'll just have him play on the computer also. I mean, unless he really wants to, you know do his studies, but I don't think he does, because who does? <laughs> I mean, studying sucks. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to fast forward through Dominique. So yeah, Daryl's going to go shower up and get all his basic stuff going, and I think he has an hour to class. So we will have poor Raymond here, you know, go to class, be the boring one now, because the other two have gone to class already. <laughs> Yeah, so, and then also have Dominique do some laundry because she kind of needs to. <laughs> is the laundry basket full? No, so why is there laundry on the floor? God, you guys know me and my pet peeve about laundry being left around the house in this storm. I put two laundry baskets in each of the bathrooms to make sure it wasn't, like, going to be a total wreck. And it always seems to turn out to be a wreck. And I think, maybe, possibly, we will invite Muggsy over today. Because, you know, they kind of like each other, but they haven't been able to hang out much. And so, I think we're going to invite him over. And we'll just have her, like, drink something if we have the coffee machine thing, I think. I think we have one. I'm not for sure. If we don't, then that's a shame, because I'm buying one. <laughs> because those are, like, life savers. Yes, we do have one. Okay. I was going to say. Otherwise, I might have to go buy one. <laughs> uh, the waffles look like they're burnt, so we're not going to have him eat waffles. We'll have the butler. We'll ask the butler if he can make us some food. <laughs> because, you know, we've asked him to cook before. <laughs> Why? That is weird. So we will have Raymond work hard, make sure he gets his studies up because, as we know, the bad boy of the three of them needs to keep his up at least because what's the point of sending him to university then if we're not? <laughs> That's odd that they're talking about marriage and babies. <laughs> it's like Daryl. You got something to say? Let's see. Ask him to cook. Oh, wait, we already did. <laughs> okay, never mind then. So, we will have Daryl come and take a nap while the butler makes some food. And I think Dominique's good, too. I think she's just been playing games, even though the screen is pitch black. <laughs> So, yeah, we will have her throw on some laundry, you know, from her room because she's a slob, apparently. <laughs> and, yeah, so Daryl's taking a nap. Raymond should be done with his classes. We aren't going to have him kiss Tiffany because we already tried and it failed miserably. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Ooh, Dominique's calling him. Hopefully he says yes. Ugh. We have to call him at 8, but like 9 it says that isn't it too late to call? Ugh. Poor Dominique. She wants her crush over and he won't come over, it feels like. Maybe we'll invite him out sometime. Maybe on a Friday night, you know, go Friday night partying. <laughs> um, yeah, so kind of boring. <laughs> because... They're just doing their classes today, which isn't too fun. 
frame and you take forever to walk home. <laughs> Let's check on Daryl. So he is gonna have a quick meal of bread and jam. And Dominique, we're just gonna have you go to do something upstairs because. Yeah, you know. No, don't go shock a bra. The butler. That's kind of odd. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll just have her kind of do, like, her room. Make her bed, you know. I kind of want to kick Tiffany out because she's just been so mean lately. Yeah. So I think we'll kick Tiffany out of our room because, you know, she's going to be mean to Raymond. Why be nice to her? <laughs> intersect there we go so we threw Tiffany upstairs in that room and we are going to lock Tiffany out of our room because she just kind of seems like she's not so friendly and it's not nice for us to keep somebody who's going to be mean to us and our friend so yeah, and Tiffany just got home. So, <laughs> Daryl is still asleep. Raymond is eating his bread and jam. And we're just going to have him do his hygiene stuff. And then I might just get back to you guys in the morning because they're kind of just sleeping now. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'll just skip ahead till morning. So, yeah. Hey guys, I am back. So, Daryl is the first one to get up, which is odd because when I went off, he was the last one to go to bed, and he's the first one to go up. So, all of them are kind of waking up right now, so we will get, like, their hunger up and all that good stuff before they all have to go to class. So, we will have Raymond go do some pancakes and have... Um, Daryl goes drink some half ch or half cappuccino, cinnamon something, some coffee. <laughs> oh, drink a half calf cinnamon light frappuccino. Yeah, it's like Starbucks. <laughs> uh, they all have to go to class right now. Well, except for Dominique. I don't think she doesn't have. She has ten hours till she has to go to class. So. She's pretty set. <laughs> so we're going to have her, you know, take a shower quick, use the bathroom. And then she's going to go drink some coffee because she's going to need it. <laughs> and then I think while everybody's gone, we'll kind of see if um, Muggsy is available just to try to get him over. Because we have been trying so hard to get this boy over here and he is just not cooperating. It's getting upsetting <laughs> that the boy won't cooperate. <laughs> So, yeah, we are having Raymond needs to go to class. Whew, so much stuff happening. <laughs> They're going to be soaked by the time they get to class. I think somebody has a radio on. It's kind of odd that the radio was on, but okay. And again, with Dominique in the singing in the shower. Okay, she stopped thinking, singing, thankfully. Yes, I know it's disgusting. The butler was cleaning it, but then got busy last night. <laughs> so, don't judge. Just don't judge. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, let's see. I guess we only have Dominique to take care of right now because everybody else is gone. They're all at class. Most likely. Some of them are still here because they have class with her. Others don't. So, it's kind of hard. 
Tammy, you know, she's just psycho in general, so nothing new there. <laughs> So yeah, we are gonna go have her drink her coffee, and then she's gonna invite over Muggsy. Maybe they can flirt today if he can come over. Otherwise, I'm gonna get so annoyed with him because it's like Dominique wants to be with you, but see, we're gonna kill him. So she tried to invite over Muggsy, and he said, "Sorry, I don't feel like coming over right now." Can we go out? I don't want to have Dominique seem like she's desperate, but yeah. So we're going to try and invite her out, or invite him out, and I guess we can go to this little coffee shop. No, I'm not interested right now. Okay, this is going to annoy me. It must be one of his traits. <laughs> Well, he is a jock, so, you know, that could be part of it, too. He could just be like, yeah, I'm not going to go with you because, yeah, I'm a jock. <laughs> so, right now, Daryl is sitting in a lecture, and Raymond is right now, I think, doing a skeleton autonomy. I don't know. Is he attending class? He is, but I don't know what his class is. That's so odd. So today's Thursday. So he has to be at the Bush Science of or er, School of Science. I guess we'll attend the science class because he is a wanting to be a doctor. So I mean, at least he's doing something. I don't know. He's just standing outside, which is pretty odd for him, because it's weird that he's just sitting out there or standing out there. So, I guess we'll have Dominique kind of clean up the place, because she has seven hours till class. So, yeah. I guess we'll just kind of have her clean up the whole place. And I'm also going to give Dominique access to go into the boys' room, so that she can um, do their laundry and stuff. And I guess I'll give the boys access, too. Just because they can, like, do her room while she's gone sometime. If she is, like, if her room's a total mess, but her room is, like, the only room that's mess, which I doubt it, because, as we know, everybody else in the dorm room, their rooms are way dirtier than ours. <laughs> so, yeah. But right now, just, you know, hanging out, doing something. I've always wanted to try this machine. I don't know why. It just seems so cool. Besides, can't this make, like, the weather change? Yeah, that's pretty odd. So, yeah, I'm just going to head back to the dorm room. Dominique is kind of just, you know, laughing at herself for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, she's going to make the beds. For the boys and everybody else. Just kind of get some of the, you know, chores off the butler's list. Besides, she got seven hours. I think she's pretty good there. And we'll have her kind of clean up just the house because the house is kind of a mess. And so, you know, a clean house is a clean dorm. I don't know. I'm just being weird. <laughs> so, yeah, she's just going to go around the house, you know, take care of people's beds, you know. All that good stuff. If he's coming to collect laundry, that'd be great. So, Dominique's just kind of helping out because, you know, why not? It said, Raymond Hemphill has been taught in the ways of science, the essential equations of life and all things here for referred for referred to as subjects make even more sense to Raymond. 
And then, congratulations, Raymond has improved his science skill to level 2. Raymond has just made a farther physical scientific breakthrough. He is able to research and sell scientific samples, look in his inventory for some samples to get started. So, he has some basic, you know, starter stuff. Which is pretty nice. And he's heading home. So we'll get him to bed because he needs to get to bed, I guess. So he's right now working on this thing. So I'm just going to have him go home now because why is he still there? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have... Daryl come and go to bed because he doesn't have anything else he needs done. And then Raymond, when you come home, you are going to serve some let's see, serve some autumn salad for the whole place because the butler only makes one serving. So Daryl is going to bed and Dominique when do you have class? You have class in five hours. So, we're going to get her hunger up, too. We'll kind of just have her go drink some, you know, chai tea, trying to get that uh, stuff up, because, jeez, it's stormy out there. I'm also going to have Raymond change his clothes. Sorry about that, guys. That was loud. So, yeah, we're going to go have her drink some tea. Uh, yeah, so, let's see. What did I just do? <laughs> What button did I just press? <laughs> that was odd. I must have pressed a button on accident. Whoopsie. So, yeah, we're going to have her come and make some serve delightful hot drinks. And Daryl is still asleep while Raymond is still cooking some food for the household. Oh, and Tammy's being rude to the butler. That ain't good. I wish it would stop raining. Because it's, of course, raining in my Sims world, and it echoes so badly. By the way, guys, sorry if lately my game has been echoing their voices. It's, I don't know, my game has been weird with my recording. So... Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of just been a boring LP part. Hopefully we can get more fun. I'm hoping that maybe tomorrow we can kind of plan a party and like invite people over. Like the girl that I put in the game. I want her to be kind of a surprise for you guys to see because I think she's really pretty and I hope you guys like her because I tried to work hard on her to make her kind of like Raymond's girl look. But yeah. So, let's see, is there anything else? Oh, great, Dominique thinks Raymond's hot. Huh. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. I don't care if you like Daryl. Daryl, I mean, go all for it. That boy is a loner forever, as we all know. But, no, you're not going for Raymond. I've already established a person for Raymond. Sorry, Dominique, you're gonna have to find somebody else. <laughs> So we are going to have her come and grab a plate, and then she is going to, I think she has to go to class, so she has to class in two hours. Gotta be kidding me. So what can I do with Daryl? I guess we can just, like, work on his stuff for class. So we're just going to have him, like, you know, blown up on his autonomy, 
and take a skeletal structure or test skeletal structure. Can't talk today. <laughs> he still wants to kiss Tiffany and he wants to improve his cooking skills. Okay, I don't think you wanted to make your cooking skills higher, but okay. So, Dominique now has class, sadly, so she is going to head off to class. Yeah, so, kind of just a boring part. Dominique is like, left us, and we were like, taking care of her all day, and the boys have nothing else they need. Because, you know, Raymond's just being boring. So, yeah, you guys, I will try to have them throw, like, a party tomorrow. Uh, you know, kind of get their partying. Self signed, so it says. Turns out the brain gr game. Uh, turns out the brain game crowd is knowledgeable in many areas, and now Raymond Hempfield can issue the challenge for a friendly competition. Huh. So now he's going to challenge people, I guess. So he wants to issue a trivia, and then he wants to text that, and then he wants to complain about video games. So we're not going to have him complain about video games or talk to Ashley. And so yeah guys sorry but I'm gonna end the part here because it's kinda just been like boring with them going to class but hopefully in the next part of University Let's Play um, part 6 I will try to have them throw a party and we will invite the girl I made for Raymond and try to invite Muggsy, as we know he probably will not come since I don't know what, but he had like a great time with Dominique the first day, and then like completely ignores her now. So, yeah. Bye my lovely geeks.